In this video, we'll look into house concept drawing that you can reproduce in an hour or less. So in this demonstration, I will be using an approach that I often use at the beginning stages of design process. So I'll typically start with a sketch of some sort, which I'll then translate into a SketchUp model. And then I'll take it from there into Procreate and I'll trace over and start manually rendering it. So this demonstration will solely be focusing on the drawing itself and will exclude any time spent in SketchUp. If you'd like to see a tutorial where I demonstrate how I model and how how I prepare my sketches beforehand and let me know in the comments below. So now I'll typically start with a sketch underlay of some sort that I lower the opacity to about 30% before I'll then start tracing over it. I'm also going to set up a drawing guide with the perspective which I already have done but it's going to be a two point perspective for this one and then I'll hide the drawing guide. I'll pick my pen which is the felt pen so I'll create a new layer on the top of the base layer and then with the drawing assist on I'll start tracing over and at this point I just want to get the outline of the building right in my tracing I'll let the lines overlap a little bit for artistic effect I'll also use the straight lines because sometimes the alternative of having wobbly lines doesn't really work for me very well especially during the early stages of the project so a lot of times I'll use straight lines. So with this house here the concept is to have two volumes one the kind of barn to the left and the other volume to the right. I haven't yet kind of figured out all the ins and outs at this stage of design but what I want to capture is the essence of the proposal. I might add more details to some of these things I might equally reduce the amount of details as well the thickness of the pen is such that it doesn't allow me to go too much into details and certain elements of the drawing because the whole beauty of sketch is that you can reduce the amount of detail and leave some of the elements up to viewers imagination. I might start adding some of the vegetation just to liven this whole composition up a bit. So I have these hanging vines over here. For scale I can add this guy as well in a more sketchy way rather than having him coming out straight of the SketchUp. I think the uh, shrubs are the most time consuming thing to be honest in this drawing because um, they kind of require a bit more artistic license when it comes to tracing, a little bit more imagination and yeah they just kind of I guess also fun to draw so you tend to spend a bit more time on them. All right, so now that the shrubs are done, uh, let's add some final detail to the stair. And to the handrails as well. And then what we can do, we can also add the um, texture to the garage door. Just kind of sketch the position of the shadows. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this result. Now what to do is to set another layer underneath the, the ones that we just traced and pick another type of brush, which is gonna be my marker brush. I'm maybe gonna go for red for this shed. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the size. I'm gonna go for red for this cladding. And I might do the same in, the, in here for the garage door to be in a matching shade. And then the remaining bits are in concrete, or most of them are in concrete, so I'll use this light gray, sort of warm gray color for those elements, just to have the base and delete any overlaps with the eraser tool. And then what I can do now is I can change the color a little bit to timber.
and then what I'll typically do is so for the windows I'll go with something kind of bluey gray just because windows feels kind of the right color for them <laughs> and also they reflect the sky which is you know typically blue shade the realism in this case is not super important i.e like what's the exact shade of those windows is as long as they're kind of thereabouts now put the tree color on another layer and again this is where a creative license kind of and how to color this comes in i typically like to have like a deep green slightly faded at least as a starting point you know at least with these trees in distance uh, we can get like a, a muted type of green shade and i can in fact build it up a little bit with the where the darker areas are similarly with this one let might reduce opacity a little bit because it's further away and then perhaps keeping the same kind of intensity but changing it slightly towards the yellow for some of these other shrubs kind of at the background and again when coming back to the front slightly more vivid this time so now what i have to do is i now have to do the tarmac For the sky we'll use this other brush, it has a bit more blur basically. In fact what I'm gonna do with the sky is I'm just gonna put this layer on the background, increase the size to the max. And then before we get carried out a bit too much we'll just reduce the opacity of that so that it's kind of a bit more appealing to the eye. And then very lastly it's time to add some shading. Again I'm gonna go to my brushes here and use the marker one and then using the black I'll reduce the opacity and the size of brushes so that I can capture the all the shadow sort of areas. And I might also add like a lighter passive for the windows. If you like this video, you'll also love this other video that I made on how to render a SketchUp image in Procreate. So check that video out and I'll see you in the next one.